Hey guys, it's your favorite auntie. There is so much smoke and fire between D.L. Hughley, Monique, and her son, Shalon. Listen, D.L. Hughley said a list of things in his um, Instagram posts. He made two posts um, in response to what Monique has said about him when she was on Club Shay Shay. I am going to go through some things that he said in his video and then we're going to see if those things are true or not. And I think you guys might be surprised at what I have to say, but hey, we all have an opinion about it and I welcome everyone's opinion down in the comments. I just ask that you watch the video to the end. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. <sighs> So the interview that Monique did on Club Shay Shay reignited the beef between Monique and DL. So you all may remember that, you know, several years back, DL and Monique had gotten into it because DL had um, had Monique on, supposedly on a comedy tour with him. And he was the headliner. She said that she actually was supposed to be the headliner. And um, she was upset because she wanted to go last and she was not going last. So there was this beef that started between them and that just got really ugly. So I'm going to get back into that part a little bit later. So I just want to pick it up from where we are, where, you know, she did the interview on Club Shay Shay. As a result of her speaking on DL again on Club Shay Shay, because this had kind of died down, right? It reignited some things between them. There were some things that DL said in his video in response to Monique having not so pleasant things to say about him. And so that's the point of this video because we are going to talk about in this video the points that DL made. We're going to see if some of the points that he said were correct. And then we're kind of going to talk about a little bit about her son and some of the things that he said. But I'm not going to go too deep in it because you guys, I'm sure, have seen the video of it. Then I'm going to kind of tie it together with what we just saw recently on the comedy special that she did. Um, she's on Cat Williams tour right now. And so she just recently spoke about her son um, and in not such a good light. I can't wait to find out what you guys thoughts and opinions about that. So make sure you drop that down in the comments. But first, let's go through some of the things that Dio said in his video because he made two videos because he made a video and then Monique came back and responded and then he made another video again. Okay, so point number one, he said that Monique was mad about the game when she came on his radio station years ago because they played a game of Would You Rather with his co-host Jasmine Sanders. He said Monique was offended and she called DL and she said that DL was dismissive about it. So he said that in response to that, he was not dismissive. He heard everything she had to say. So he pulled the segment. The segment never aired. Okay, we got to give a check mark for that. That's true. He never aired the segment. So then he also said that there was a dispute between them in regards to the contract for the comedy show. He said on the ticket, it said D.L. Hughley on the ticket for the show. That's true. That means that's the headliner. She disputed that and said that she was not supposed to be opening for him. Um, He's right. His name was on the ticket. Now, what I do think is that I think the promoter just hoodwinked maybe both of them and maybe the promoter lied to him. Maybe lied. I think I think what it was is that he really was supposed to be the headliner. She was on the show with him. And I think to get her on, I think maybe the promoter lied to her and told her that she was going to be the headliner. That's what I think happened. That's just my personal opinion. So they had that dispute. Um, what else? Okay. So then from that issue, that that um, beef, that got real nasty because that turned into where DL said that in her, um, I guess, I think, I don't know if it was the, I think it was the same show where she went out and because she was so upset with him um, about the fact that she had to go in front of him, she went out and she said that uh, he allowed his daughter to be raped in front of him. I think she either said it um, on the sh that comedy show special they were doing, or she did a video later and said it. And then um, she said that, and of course he said, that's not true. Um, 
And then she also talked about his wife. Now I know for certain she's talked about his wife in that comedy special because there's video of her talking about his wife. And she said uh, about his wife, she said that, um, how does it feel to suck the bleep of a coward? So she called D.L. Hewley a coward. And so then she tried to come back and say she never said anything about his family, but she did. And so, of course, people were coming at her for talking about his um, wife, talking about his daughter, because Dia openly talked about the fact that uh, his daughter had been raped. Um, and I'm, Oops, I hope YouTube don't get me in trouble for saying that. But his daughter had, um, you know, been abused and that he initially did not believe her because it was a friend of his and that, you know, he recognized the trauma that he caused in not believing his own daughter. He was open about that. And, you know, Yes, we can say that that's disgusting that he wouldn't believe his daughter. How could you not, you know, but he's acknowledged that he's owned up to that. And I'm definitely not making excuses for him. But he came out and said that on his own. She didn't bring that part out. He said that. But what she did was she kind of weaponized that. And in response to that, his own daughter came out against her and his wife came out against Monique. Right. They both stood up for him and was like, you know, you're you're crossing the line. Um, so let's get into some other points that he said about her. So he also stated that, uh, she said that he's always talking about her in videos. And he said that Monique told her fan base to go find those videos. Well, the only videos you will find of him is him responding to Monique when she does an interview and she brings up his name. I haven't seen any videos of him just randomly talking about her. I've only seen responsive videos. I'm giving a check mark to that of what he said that that's true. You guys let me know if you've seen videos of him talking bad about her. That's not in response to a video that she said about him. She also said that, um, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. He also said that uh, she's never sweet and warm to people. Everywhere she goes, she starts stuff. Hence, you know, she has the issue with um, him. She has an issue with Kevin Hart now. She has an issue with Steve Harvey. She has an issue with Oprah. She has an issue with Tyler Perry. She had an issue with Lee Daniels. You know, the list kind of goes on as to who he was talking about when he says that she has an issue with people. Now, some of these people rightfully so. Um, he also said that her son does, well, he said her kids don't mess with her, that she does not have a relationship with her kids. And then we recently found out Shalon, her son, her oldest son came out and said that he does not have a relationship with her. And one of the things that I would say is that when I watch the videos of Shalon, I really appreciate the fact that he can own his feelings, that he was very articulate in the way that he described his relationship with his mother and the fact that he takes responsibility for some of the things that he may have done that um, she didn't like, um, especially like the way he responded to the fact that she was never around, but that he's tried to have a relationship with her and that she is just not open to loving him in the way that she, that he needs to be loved, but that he appreciates the way that she loves the younger kids um, he loves that for them. And I just really, you know, have a lot of respect for him to be able to stand in his feelings, to be vulnerable and to share that with people. Some people didn't like that. Some people didn't care for the fact that he spoke out against his mom on the internet. But in his defense, he said, my mom spoke about me many times. There was many times where she's openly said that, you know, she doesn't have the best relationship with her son, that she's made mistakes in the past. But then she said some other things about her son too. So of course, um, when he said that she's pretending as if, you know, she's this great mom, he has to call her out on that. But, you know, some people didn't like that. DL also said, now this one was kind of harsh. He said that she pays a man to love her said she cannot do a video without her daddy next to her. Um, have you all seen a video without him? I wanted so bad to see a video without him. And he's talking about her husband. I I, I haven't seen it. it. It might be out there. Maybe she's, maybe they're in the video together. And then at one point she's in the video, but I'm going to give it a check mark because she does do a video with him all the time. 
Um, he also stated that she, her husband let her ask another man for money. Ooh, that's true. Check mark for that because she admitted Kevin Hart gave her money. She said that in um, the interview on Club Shay Shay. Um, ooh, he said that she needs to write a joke. States she always complains and lives in the past. Listen to that joke she made today about her son. Ooh. Let me come back to that one. I'm going to come back to that one. He said in her Netflix special, it was the worst in history. He said, go read the reviews. I went and pulled up the reviews. Y'all, I got to give him a check mark for that. He's right. When I went and pulled up the reviews for the Netflix special, I was like, oh my gosh. There are so many bad reviews about her Netflix special. People are calling it pure garbage. Somebody says she's out of touch with what's funny today. Someone says she has a garbage mouth. They call it junk. They said it was a public therapy session, a waste of time. Where's the comedy? It, I think it got a two out of 10. It, it's, some people said not funny. It's boring. He was not lying about that. I know some people don't care for D.L. Hewley and um, he has his own issues with his own wife of things that he's done in the past. And I'm definitely not saying that he's a saint. I'm just going down the list of things that he said about Monique that I haven't seen that's not true so far. Here's the one for me that is pretty bad. Let's get into the video that just dropped where she is talking about her son in response to the videos that he's made. You know, she already dropped the receipts that were from 2021 and everybody's like, wait, you haven't spoken to your son in 2021. It looks like you guys had some great text messages over a period of a couple of days, maybe a month or two, but we didn't see anything, not that we needed to, but she's the one that dropped it. We didn't see anything from 2022, 2023, or 2024 that showed they had great communication. So I don't know what her point was in dropping receipts from 2021. So of course her son came out and responded to that. Um, but the things that she said recently in this video where she claims that an 80-year-old woman came up to her in the airport and told her in regards to her son, F that, mm, F that N-I-G-G-A. And people in the audience are like, I know that's right. Yep, that's right. And she's co-signing on that. That's her joke. That was her joke in the special. Now, I understand that that's an edited version, but that still happened. That's nasty. That's nasty work, in my opinion. What kind of mother would get on the stage and say that about their son when they know that, number one, he's admitted to having mental health issues. I think she's even admitted to having some mental health issues. And you think that's comedy to get up on a stage and say that a woman, an 80 year old woman told you that, and basically you're in agreement with that, F that that's your son. So I'm just saying, if we look at some of the things that Dia said, and then we starting to see, well, not even started. We've kind of seen some of the behavior that she does in her Netflix specials. But then she gets in the interviews and then she makes videos with her husband that totally contradict how she really is. I'm just asking, what do you guys think about this? Um, you know, I do agree with the fact that her and her son should try to handle this privately, but she brought it public when she spoke on her son and he has the right to defend himself. D.L. Hughley has the right to defend himself as well. Now, aside from the controversial topic of women being underpaid, her being blackball, I'm not talking about that part. What I am talking about in this video is specifically the smoke and fire between her, DL, and her son. I'm interested to hear you guys' thoughts. Let's just keep it, um, 
we can all have a difference of opinion. I welcome that. I love to see others' opinions and thoughts about it. But just more from a uh, this is my opinion positive perspective, if you know what I mean. Not the uh, your video sucks. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. No, just state what your opinion is. This was my opinion. This is my channel. This is my platform. It was my opinion. Now I am in more than welcome and interested in what are your thoughts about it. And if your thoughts are different, please drop it in the comment. If you agree, thumbs up. Tell me your comment and perspective about it. As always, I appreciate all my subscribers. I appreciate everyone who is new to the channel and that are subscribing. Even if you think um, differently from me, you're not afraid to hear my thoughts and just have your comments down in the comment section. That's what we're here for. We're here to talk about what happens on social media. That's the point of the channel. Hey, it's Black History Month. Continue to support your Black content creators. You can support us by liking the video, sharing the video, and putting down a positive comment in the comment section. Thank you guys. Appreciate you.